Hey Trello friends. All right, check this out. This is the really fast way to use Trello. Okay, so we're gonna add a new card and then I'm gonna add myself to this card. We're gonna add a label. I'm gonna add a due date. And we're even gonna add an image. So copy this image. You could have got it from Google anywhere. And then we can quickly add it to our card just like that. Okay, so I'm about to show you just how I did that. Um, but if you stick around to the end, I've got a really cool recommendation for a Chrome extension that I use every single day and it helps me to manage my board faster just like I was showing you just there. Alright, so a lot of you guys would have figured out that actually it was quite simple just using keyboard shortcuts to make all those changes really quick. But the principle behind them I think is the most important thing here. So the idea is to make as many edits as you can from the board level. So rather than clicking on a card and then opening it up to make all the changes that you want to do, um, whether that's changing the, the title of the card, adding people to the card, due dates, attachments, all these things. There's loads of stuff you can actually do from the, the board level. So while we're in this view. And the great thing about this is it means you can make loads of changes really quickly to lots of cards all at once. So you can add yourself to a bunch of things. You can add some labels quickly. You can update a due date over here. And there's even others that I didn't even show you just there. But a good one, for example, is if uh, quite often when you've completed something and you've moved it over to your done list, you want to hit the you want to mark off the, the due date as done. So you'd go in here, you click on it and then, oh, sorry, you go here and then you click the, the checked bo box there and that will mark it as complete. But yeah, a lot of people don't realize that you can actually do this from the board itself. So if you hover over the date and just click the little box there, that's marked it as done. Okay, that one just moved across. There's a button automation set up to do that. So there's another example of a way you can save time. Um, if you're interested in Butler, actually, we've got a ton of videos on how to do that. And Butler is, Trello's automation tool. It's really easy to use um, and it's really powerful. It can save you a lot of time and clicks. So yeah, check out some of the other videos. Um, I'll probably pop a link to, to those in the description, but also maybe somewhere around here on a card in a sec. Um, so yeah, have a look at those. But yeah, back to the keyboard shortcuts. So now that we've said we want to make the changes from the board level, how do you do that? Well, the main thing to know is you just need to hover over the card with your mouse and then you can press the keyboard shortcuts and it will make the updates. So as if I hover my mouse over this one and press D for due date, it'll open it up and you can change the, the date just like that. Again, hover, press space, as yourself, L, we've got labels. Um, and then when it comes to attachments, all you need to do is make sure you have an attachment in your clipboard. Now command V, there we go. It's added it for us just like that. Didn't need to open the card, didn't need to find an attachment or add it or anything like that. It's just really quick. And when it comes to editing the card title, um, the, you can open it up just like I did there, but you could also just press E and then it's gonna hit immediately select it like this and you can make any changes you like. Okay, so I hope that helps. That's a really quick kind of very brief, like scratching the surface of saving time when using Trello. If you guys like this, I can do loads more. There's, as I said, there's loads of ways you can save time with Trello, um, but that is a good starting point. If you can get going with that and you can ingrain that habit of making changes from this board level, it's honestly gonna speed up your Trello usage so much and give you way more time just to work on these tasks rather than managing your board. Okay, so I promised um, I'd mention a really cool Chrome extension that I use a lot for this um, and it's this one here so it's called Next Step for Trello. It's free, uh, it's, it's really popular, it's nothing to do with me or Aura apps, I just really like it so I wanted to mention it to you guys. A lot of people are using it as you can see but what it does is if you have a checklist in a card so let's quickly add one here. So like write email create an email software and let's just leave it at that. So that's two checklists. And as before, like you would need to open this card up, scroll down, 
find the checklist and then see what it is and then interact with it from here. Probably check it off like that. But what we can actually do with this uh, Chrome extension is now you can see, because I've got it enabled up here, we can see that this first checklist item has appeared on the card. So again, we're doing this like making changes from the card level, not having to open it up, the, I'm sorry, the board level, not having to open up the cards. So here we're from here. And what's even better is we can actually interact with them. So you can see once I've done that checklist task or that subtask, I can check it off and it's checked, it's done. You can see it's there. And then it populates the next one in the list. So for each of my, ta my tasks, these are my cards on here, I can quickly see which is like the next step, like which is the next task or subtask I need to do to progress this card forward uh, before I can move it, you know, to the to the done done list. Okay, so if that tool looks of interest, then uh, I'll be putting a link in the description below so you can go and install it straight away. Um, but while you're there, then it'd be great if you guys could hit subscribe on this channel. That'd be a huge help, and you'll be up to date when we roll out new videos just like this. But in the meantime, uh, if you're looking for more Trello tips um, and news and things like that, then check out the other videos on this channel. Um, there's a brand new feature coming out very soon that's really exciting for Trello users uh, about mirror, mirror cards. So the ability to have uh, information on multiple boards from one card. So if you're interested in knowing a bit about that and what we know so far about what it will look like and be able to do, then check out the video that will be appearing somewhere above my head anytime now um, and uh, yeah that's a good one to get started with okay so that's it and uh, yeah thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you next time